Hi, let's go to lesson number two. This will be about blinking LEDs in the Arduino boards, which are the boards I have here. This is the Uno board, this is the Nano board, and this is the Mega board. In each of them, I will show how to blink a LED. So, first, let's open the Arduino software. Okay. After I open the software, it is very simple. I just need to take the example that will blink the LEDs. The example will be in File, Examples, Basic, Blink. When I open this example, I have the file ready to be used. So let's look at it. What I can see here is a lot of comments. When I have this backslash with a stick, this is the start of the comment and this is the end of the comment. This is not a part that will be compiled at all. Afterwards, I have a setup. The void setup indicates what will be the output pin on the Arduino board. In this case, the output is pin number 13. Later, I have the loop which is running all the time between uh, the start of the loop and the end of the loop. It is going continuous all the way that uh, the power is connected. So I can see here that I have a digital write to pin number 13 high, which means that the uh, port number 13 will output high voltage. In this case, the high voltage depends on the board we are using. It can be or 5 volt or 3.3 volt. After this line, when we output one, the LED will light. Later we have a delay of 1000 millisecond, which is exactly one second. So after the LED is light, we wait one second, and then we are writing to the same output port number 13 low which mean at this line the LED will stop lighting after it stops lighting we are waiting another one second and we are going back here so the loop is running all the time okay after we understand this we should select the board that we would like to use here under tools board we have all the boards that we can burn this code but before this I want to show a little about the schematic of the board so I have here schematic of Arduino Mega in the Arduino Mega I can see that pin number 13 is the yellow LED. This is output number 13 here and this go out through a buffer to a LED which include already a resistor. So the yellow LED in this board should blink. Okay, this is the Mega. Same if we will go to the Nano board. In the nano board, the same pin number 13 have a LED in it. So let's search for the LED. Let's search for the LED. Okay, here is pin number 13 down on the right side. Let me show it here. This is digital 13 going again through a resistor 
to a LED. So the Nano and the Mega, they have on board the ready LED already. So we don't have to connect another LED in order to see this program running OK. If you will go to Arduino Uno, you should see same here. Same here. Let's search for the LED. Okay, again, okay. This is pin number 13 here. If I go to pin number 13, let me zoom a little bit. So we can see that the SCK is connected, should be connected. Okay, here it is. We have a buffer again that is connected to a yellow LED and 1K resistor. So we have all the setup ready on board. Okay. Okay. So I have connected already the Arduino Nano. So let's run this program. First we have to connect the correct COM. Usually uh, the Arduino software recognize the port OK. So now I have to change the board to Nano and then I will compile it in this button and afterward upload or if I press this button it will compile and upload the program. So I am compiling the program and the program is uploading, done uploading. So you can see here that the green LED is blinking at one second. In order to see that my program is working OK, let's change from one second to 100 millisecond, which is a, which should be blink much faster. OK, this is a 0 0.1 second. So I will do the compile and check it. So again I'm pressing this button, then uploading and we can see that the LED is blinking fast now. Now I will use the same program without changing anything to see that it is working ok also on the UNO and on the mega board. Let's do it. Ok, so what I'm doing after connecting the correct board I have again to change the port which will be changed uh, because each board it gives uh, another number to the COM port. So I have chosen the correct COM port and also the Arduino Uno now. So I am again compiling and downloading this to the board and I can see that the LED again blink at one second. I will do the same as before but now let's see I will do that it will blink one second and it will be off just to 100 millisecond which in this case the LED will most of the time will be on and just short off so let's do it again program and download ok and we can see it most of the time the LED is on and for a very short time it is off in order to make sure that everything is ok for example I can do it on for 2 seconds and off for 10 seconds. Again I will compile it. Done uploading. Okay. So let's see. Okay. The LED is on for 2 seconds and then it is off for 10 seconds. Could be soon on again.
okay so this is working also okay I want to show what is happening I've connected the megaboard and now I am doing the compiling but I haven't changed yet the port and haven't changed yet the board so let's see what happening done, done compiling okay so we have here a problem okay the problem is because we haven't chosen the correct com and we haven't chosen the correct board so now we'll fix it and compile and program download it again to the board okay and we can see here that the LED is blinking okay okay so let's try to do something else so for example uh, let's do program that will blink uh, let's say uh, 10 times in this speed and 10 times in much faster speed so I will add some code I will do it like this for int i equal 1 i is smaller than 10 i plus plus ok and then I will copy the same code and do it with much faster blinks so in this case we will have 9 blinks at 1 second and 9 blinks are much faster let's do it, compile it and run it in the mega board ok, done uploading so we will have here let's see 9 blinks at 1 second and then 9 much faster ok so it is working ok ok this was lesson number 2 thank you very much for joining me bye bye